Will women have a right to vote in independent India? This was perhaps the only question on which every member of the Constituency Assembly post-1947 was on the same page. Independent India will have universal adult suffrage. The makers of modern India cast this in stone in the late 1940s. In the very first general elections in independent India, the emphasis was on persuading women to exercise their right to vote. But this was the year 1952. Only 18% of India's 350 million people were literate. Women literacy was at an abysmal 8%. To top it, most of the women were still limited to the traditional and conventional confines of their homes. India's first election commissioner, Sukumar Senthus had the mammoth task of not only educating the population of the electoral process, but also to persuade women to come out of their homes to vote. After an intense awareness effort, the election commission brought over 80 million women on the nation's first ever electoral roll. But the names of 2.8 million women had to be struck off. You ask why? simply because they were not names in the conventional sense at all. A whopping 2.8 million women in central and eastern India were registered as so-and-so's wife, so-and-so's mother and so-and-so's daughter. After all this, how they used to be addressed in their communities is exactly this. Even those registered with proper names could not come to vote. We do not have an official women turnout figure from 1952. The earliest available data is from 10 years later, when only 46% registered women voters came out to vote. The number for 1952 was far less, as opposed to a 46% turnout for women in 1962 polls. The turnout among men was 63% that year. Over the years, the gap between the turnouts between men and women has not only re reduced, but has actually reversed, although marginally. In the last 2019 election, the percentage of women coming out to vote was 0.17% more than the male turnout. Women voters are now a formidable force in Indian elections. No party can afford to leave out women-centric policies out of their manifestos. The Indian Prime Minister has now made women part of what he calls the four main castes of India. It explains why women could only get a considerable space in the mainstream politics so late and it goes without saying that the share is not yet fair. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.